for the sign of Libra, hello and welcome to my channel. Now the five of wands, it refers to competition. It could be work or career related, but sometimes or more than often it refers to romantic rivals. So in the recent past, you should not have been afraid to compete, but just know that you had something to offer and you would have been successful, but you would have had to try just to see results. Also, the need to believe in yourself would have had to been stronger than ever at that time. So you needed to hold your head up high and have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. Um, you also, with the five of wands, if you were thinking of making a career change, that's something that you could have been successful at too. But like I said, with the five of wands, you have to try just to see results and hold your head up high. Now it's paired with the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, it reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times, whether it's bad, bad times, it passes. And if suddenly you found yourself sitting on top of the world, you probably should have kept your perspective because like everything else, it changes. So you would have had to live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life, it's really outside of our control, but even that's okay. It would have been important for you to roll with any changes. And just stay positive, think positive. So basically in the recent past, Libra, Will of Fortune, Five of Wands, you could have been involved with a person, or maybe there was a situation that you felt like you had to struggle for dominance or just struggle to be on top of the situation. And it caused some drama. So you and that person you were with, um, you probably found that a lot of times you didn't see eye to eye. Uh, it could have been that your person that you were involved with, they were being pursued by several people or maybe this was you. So uh, you were in a very challenging connection or maybe a challenging situation that it, it brought a lot of obstacles to the connection. Now, the good thing is that uh, we got the will of fortune here, so fortune was in your favor. So if you didn't know it, you had good fortune in your favor and things would have turned out well. I don't know if you stuck around. Or if um, you hung in there, a fortune was in your favor. So if, there was, if you were dealing with someone that was being pursued by several people, um, it more than likely would have, um, your person would have chosen you. So that's a recent past. So... Let's take a look and see what's going on with the present time. Now we got the Nine of Cups, beautiful, and the Two of Wands, okay? So the Nine of Cups is one of the most uplifting and pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's known as a wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about is most likely to be yours in a very brief period of time. It's about happiness and good things to come. It also means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, this card is the most powerful indicator of yes. It's about feeling blessed and satisfied or being blessed and satisfied. Now, it's with the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands, it's important for you to keep your balance in every way you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. It also indicates partnership with another person. It could be business, it could be personal, or it could be both. It reminds us to stay mindful of the give and take that's required for successful relationships. And if you're feeling out of balance now, just know that things are about to become or get substantially better. It's about keeping your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. So basically, coming up, uh, maybe towards the end of July or third week of July, but time is fluid when you get these readings. 
So just know that it could go into August or maybe it's around now. Nine of Cups and Two of Wands for the present time. So, like I said, Nine of Cups is beautiful. It's short of one cup. Ten of Cups is the tops. So I'm picking up that the person you're involved with or dealing with, they've got um, very, very strong, there's a very strong desire for you. And um, you probably feel like um, blessed and satisfied. That's what the Nine of Cups is about. And I'm picking up that your person, uh, they, they could be planning to make a future with you. But they might have two options, but they're leaning they're leaning in your direction because of the nine of cups it's a very strong desire nine of, nine of cups is like i said it's beautiful your person they could like i said they could have two paths or two options towards a future but this person they want a future with you there's very strong desire here with the nine of cups so these two cards are beautiful paired together so it looks good for the present time but let's take a look and see what the challenge might be so we got the world card and it's with the four of wands no nope, that's a four of swords now the world card is about completion you worked hard you're you're almost to the finish line in some way, so don't quit now because you're really close. You're almost probably in need of some well-deserved rest and relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it. You're getting closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. And this is a... Um, well, there's a very good chance that you're... You could be working too hard for far too little recognition and money. So it's going to be important for you to blow your own horn, toot your... Toot your horn, toot your horn, blow your horn, just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. Now the world card, it's about completion. It's about ending a journey, closing out a cycle, closing the chapter on the book, starting a new chapter. And it's with the Four of Swords. Now this Four of Swords is an interesting card in the tarot. Now these Hopefully you can see it. Let me shine a light. Now it looks like this man, he might have went up to the mountain tops and to the mountain, to the top of the mountain. And he just decided to just put himself on the ground and just take a break. Get some rest. Away from the world and away from whatever he's going through. He bought four sword he, he brought four swords with him. And it looks like he bought a candle. And maybe his dogs came with him. Or some dogs followed him up to the top of the mountain. So it's about taking a rest. The need it's showing a need for a break. It could be from normal life or it could mean that you or, or someone that you know, they may withdraw for a time. But with this withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. But he does have a candle in his shoe. I don't know if you can see the shoe. It's below his foot. And it looks like he's, he's planning to stay there until night or overnight. And if anyone bothers him, he'll pull the swords out and he will use them. So... Just know the withdrawal is not permanent. He's coming back down from the mountain. He's coming back. Now, you may need you may need some time and maybe some space for yourself. Or it could be that others are pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. So don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when someone says no to you, Make sure you take them at you take them at their word. If you push in the circumstance, 
It could be asking for trouble. So the challenge is that you could be, Libra, you could be asking your person to close out something, to end a journey, be done with that chapter. Maybe they're, they were involved with someone else and they have, you see that they haven't really closed the chapter on that, 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 of that book or in that cycle, in that journey. And it looks like uh, it's, it could be causing you maybe a little stress there, or maybe it's causing them some stress because they realize they got work to do. So your person is, they need some solitude and recovery rest after a struggle maybe you two had a fight about some person that they need to close out that chapter with or maybe some things because we do have the five of wands here so maybe you're de still dealing with the person from the recent past who brought a lot of competition into the connection so they realize they got work to do libra and it looks like you might have you may be giving them an ultimatum so they need to, it looks like it's, they realize it, that they got work to do. They need to close out some things because they, they look like they want to choose you. Yeah, you're their nine of cups. So, um, yeah, you've given this person an ultimatum. So looks like they need a break to figure out what, how to continue, how to push this forward and make things happen. And then they come back down from, from the top of the mountains and they do it. It looks like hopefully they do what they, they're going to do what you ask them to do. Or they, they'll do what they know they need to do. But let's find out. Now we got the challenge. That was a challenge. Now let's take a look at the outcome. So we got the Queen of Cups and it's with the King of Pentacles. Now the Queen of Cups is showing a, wom a woman should be very helpful to you if the queen reminds us to bring love, compassion to our work. And that's possible even if we work in a factory all day with objects rather than people. Things are probably better in your working world when you get this card. Probably better than you're realizing. Now, when it comes to love question, the queen of cups is very positive. It's a very nurturing, healing, supportive energy positive outlook about a relationship now the king of pentacles is also it's a good re really good card in the tarot um, it's excellent when it comes to love questions uh, this someone wants to reach out yeah someone wants to come forward and sweep you off your feet they'll be telling you things that um, that you finally want to hear now the, the king of pentacles uh, when you hear the word pentacles in the tarot that's money cash coins finances so if we're not talking about love it means success and money matters but now is really not the time to be a maverick it's a time to follow the established way of doing things and when this stands for actual person in your life it refers to a very masculine type. He'll have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. So if it is a person in your life, a man in your life, maybe a woman, um, just know that this is a person who you can believe in and trust absolutely. So the outcome is good, is really good. The Queen of Pentacles, uh, your person... Like I said, they're coming down from the mount from the top of the mountains because they want to nurture and heal this connection with you. And with the King of Pentacles here, um, they're reaching out to you. If they haven't come forward, they will be. Um, probably, more than likely, they'll be telling you what you've been wanting to hear. Finally, they'll they'll open up in more ways than one. 
Because the King of Pentacles, they want success. This person wants success with you, Libra. They want, they want to win this connection. So, that's your reading. So, good for you. It sounds really good. I like that the Nine of Cups is, is here. So, it's saying that a lot of um, your wishes could come true at this time. And Two of Wands is showing your person they're choosing you. 